Hey guys, today we're going to talk about chemical decomposition. So what is chemical decomposition? Do you know what's chemical decomposition? Well, I know. Now let's find out. So basically, a chemical decomposition is a type of chemical reaction which separates a compound into simpler compounds or an element. A chemical decomposition is also known as the total opposite of synthesis reaction. There are three types of chemical decomposition. The first one is electrolysis, which uses direct energy current. The second is catalysis, which uses catalyst to accelerate the decomposition reaction. And the third is thermal decomposition, which uses heat to accelerate the decomposition of the material. So now, I'll show you some examples of decomposition reaction. These are my examples of decomposition reaction. Notice on the left side of the skeletal equation are compounds, and on the right side of the skeletal equation are simpler compounds or elements that are broken down through the process of decomposition. My first example is water, or simply H2O. H2O is break down into H2 plus O2. Notice that hydrogen and oxygen as a subscript 2 on the bottom because hydrogen and oxygen are part of the diatomic molecules. Water can be break down through electrolysis which involves electricity. My second example is H2O2 also known as hydrogen peroxide. In this reaction, I'll be using potassium iodide as a catalyst in this reaction. Note, potassium iodide is not part of the reaction. It only accelerates the decomposition reaction of the material. H2O2 is being break down into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So in this experiment, I'll be doing the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. The white stuff that you could see in the video is potassium iodide. It is a catalyst that I will use to accelerate the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Now watch and see. As you can see here, the hydrogen peroxide is being decomposed quickly. Now, the gas inside the bubbles are oxygen gas and hydrogen gas that are trapped inside the bubbles. This type of reaction is exothermic because it releases energy during the reaction. The white fumes that you're seeing uh, while decomposing is hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And that's the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. My third example is sucrose, also known as table sugar. Sucrose is composed of 12 carbon, 22 hydrogen, and 11 oxygen. I'll be using a sulfuric acid as a catalyst in order to accelerate the decomposition reaction of sugar. Sugar is break down into 12 parts of carbon and 11 parts of dihydrogen oxide. I'll be showing a video of the decomposition reaction of sugar. Today I'm going to show you the decomposition of sugar. As you can see, I just poured out sulfuric acid in the sugar because sulfuric acid is a good catalyst to accelerate the decomposition of sugar. As I mix the beaker, you can see that the sugar is getting darker because the decomposition is accelerating and the, the more it becomes darker that means that carbon is being decomposed and water is getting out from the compound as you can see below the beaker there's liquid on it it shows the sign of water. 
and the darker parts of the uh, beaker is the carbon. As it gets longer and longer, the darker it shows because the pure the carbon gets. As you can see, since the water is getting hotter and hotter, it becomes water vapor, it evaporates. And there we go. That gas is water vapor. And that solid thing coming out of the beaker is pure carbon. And there you have it the decomposition of sugar by using a catalyst of sulfuric acid. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. My fourth example is potassium chloride. In this reaction, we need to use heat to break down into smaller and simpler compounds. This reaction involves thermal decomposition. Potassium chloride is being break down into potassium chloride and oxygen gas. We need to balance the equation to follow the law of conservation of mass. My fifth example is sodium bicarbonate. We will be using thermal decomposition in order to break down sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda. Sodium bicarbonate is decomposed into sodium carbonate plus carbon dioxide, and water. Notice that sodium carbonate can be also break down into sodium oxide, which is a highly reactive material, plus carbon dioxide. I hope you understand decomposition reaction in this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Thank you and have a good day.